Hello, welcome everybody. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And today we're going to look into the farm slash gardens in Cookie Clicker. Now, we've been pushing this back again and again and again because the past episodes have always been about new updates that have come out. And I get that the gardens have been here for months now. But still, we owe it to you to demonstrate how this stuff works. And we haven't gotten into this on the channel at all. As you can see, we only have one crop right now. Yes. Which is the baker's wheat. Now, the garden is the mini game in the farms building. They have been introducing those mini games. They had the um, the Pantheon and uh, they had the, uh, the the temples and the uh, the Wizard Tower mini games. And yeah, the uh, War, yes. exactly. And now we're uh, we're getting the garden in the in the farms. And I'm assuming they might uh, do more of those in the future. Actually, I wouldn't be opposed to it. Yeah, I mean, I assume dungeons go into the mines. Yeah, that because it's the first one that was ever worked on. Yeah, that and the new update does say that. Uh, where is it? Uh, Resume work on dungeon exactly. Minigame. So that probably will be the mice. Now, one more idea for practicality: we just gonna mute all the uh, buildings that don't have mini games in them, so we can mute the grandmas and essentially everything else. This is a pretty good idea to do because, yeah, those you don't even need to. But the idea is just to have all those on the screen right away, so you don't hit, when you click into the tab, you don't need to be <clears throat> scrolling up and down. That's another nice feature. Now. The garden can be more effective when you put more sugar lumps into it. That's uh, generally how that works. The more sugar lumps you put into it, the greater the plot size is. And we just dropped about 25 lumps when we yes. started the, the tab into the garden to get a sizable plot in order to kind of kickstart the uh, the mutation that we wanted to achieve. Now, there's a, a bunch of plans uh, in the uh, in the garden. And the big helper in this case, once again, is the Quick Clicker Wiki. Which uh, we're gonna switch over to that real quick. As you can see, these are first of all the mutation setups, which we're gonna need later to cross breed plants. And then when you scroll down, you're getting first of all your tools and all the crops that are available in the game. The baker's wheat is the first one we start off, and there's a lot of plants as you can see that all have uh, different attributes to it, different effects that when you have them planted or they're growing, they're doing, they're having different effects on their cookie production. And those are fungi. They also show up sometimes, there's fungus, there's weeds, and there's plants, essentially. So, or weeds probably are plants, and those are the um, the soil types as well, that yes. have different effects. I mean, the soil has different effects depending on what soil plant then you can go for maximizing the amount of ticks, you can go for maximizing the passive effects. If you maximize the ticks, that means that the plants will grow up faster, and you can harvest them earlier, and they will probably also mutate faster, because of that. Uh, growth rates, there's a lot of stuff that you can... Right, so for the, um, go back to the game real quick. That is really good for um, mutating, the, like, different creations, for example. So because they spread and mutate three times faster, we're going to go with that for now to show you the first mutation. Now, if you go back to the uh, the site and take a look at the grid, now we start off with just Baker's Wheat, right? That's the, oh, yeah, yeah, that's the first one. So... What we can do next is look at Thumbcore, that's the next one right there. And we list its effects, its description, and of course the mutations, or the recipe rather, how to get that. So, 2 times Baker's Wheat has a 5% chance to mutate into a Thumbcorn. And once that happens, the Thumbcorn starts growing. You need to let that grow out, once it's mature, you harvest it, and then that seed will be added to your collection. Now, we need 2 times Baker's Wheat, and now when we figure out what we need, we scroll up. And look at the uh, perfect mutation setup. So first of all, our plot size is, is it 5 times 5? We're going to check that out in the game. It is... It is 5 by 5. five. But it's, it's a 5 by 5. Oh yeah, it does. So oh, then, yeah. yeah, then we go to the wiki. We five. got the mutation setups. We're mutating from two of the same plant. Two times the baker's wheat. Yes. And the 5 times 5 is the one in the top right. So that is exactly how we're going to set up our crops right now. The green squares are all going to have baker's wheat on them. And that's what JJ is going to do right now. If You can hold a shift, by the way. While you're planning them, so you don't need to click into the uh, collection every single time. So just shift, click. Yeah. And then, then you keep the seat. The bottom two, right? Yeah. And then those, those two correct. and the top two there. Yeah. Now, the way this works is... Click on the seat again, yeah. The way this works is that every open <clears> space <throat> that is touched by those two plants, by those two crops, can mutate. So, essentially, in this case, almost all crop... Well, every single one, right? Yeah. Yes. Every single uh, open space right now can theoretically harvest thumb corn. Now, if it were to plant it differently, that wouldn't be as efficient. So this is always the best setup to do that. Now, that it gets more complicated. For example, I'm of first going to mirror and rotate it because yeah. it is a symmetrical grid. Correct. So, for example, look at the uh, wiki again and scroll down on the plants. As an example of how that's not always 
perfectly possible. I'm right now at home and my personal account all the way down for the plants. I'm trying to go for the Everdaisy, which is the last plant in this list, I believe. So the Everdaisy requires three tidy grasses and three elder boards at a horrible uh, probability as well. And uh, for that to happen, you need to have basically, an, on, because I've got the same grid, the five by five, uh, a row of one plant, then two rows down, a row of another one, and then uh, on the bottom row again, the other plant. So that will only allow the ever daisies to grow in the center three between okay, those, yeah. not in the brains, because all three plant like we need a, a, a tile that is touched or directly touched by three tidy grasses and three elder wards. So we can't set that up in a way that it will be perfect for every square. Yeah. Or, or every tile, rather. So that's getting more complicated. <clears throat> Most of them are pretty easy to do, though. So And that's basically how you would go. Now, scroll up again. See what happens when we turn out to have the thumb corn. So once we get the thumb corn, we can then go for the crone rice, which would be one baker's wheat and one thumb corn. Now, that would be probably set up the exact same way, but you can scroll up. This would then be an example of from two different plants, and that's the 5x5 five five grid, which is also the top right. That is how it would be set up. So assuming yellow would be the thumb corn, and uh, the green, yeah, the green would be, it's 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 essentially the same. It's the same up. pattern, it's, it's just rotated by 90 degrees rotated. for no reason. Exactly. You can you can do that whatever you want. You can move it to the left, all of them, move, it, move them up and down. Uh, but that's how it's supposed to be set up. So the yellow would, for example, be the thumb corn, when the green would be the baker's wheat. And that's how you go on. Now there's uh, some other plants. We got the, the weeds. And the weeds just, they show up. For example, go down and find the metal weed. That is, I believe, the first weed that should be in there. There we go. Metal weed. So it has no effects. May overtake nearby plants and may drop spores when uprooted. So the metal weed is actually a basically just a horrible uh, parasite plant. We don't want that, but we do want it. So it shows up by itself. And the way to accelerate that is to use the soil that will... Uh, uh, heighten the probability of weed showing yes. up. And um, the idea of the metal weed is just that it will drop the spores. And the spores are what gives us the fungi. Oh, right. So we have the fungi down here, and uh, we got the white mildew, brown mold, the um, dog shroom, all those. They also can be crossbred from each other, and they can also be crossbred with plants later. So, for example, the green rot is one white mildew and one ordinary clover. Yeah. That's how we would kind of add up that collection. They also have uh, effects. Some of them are, of course, uh, thematic to Gooey Clicker, like the Wrinkle Gill, the Wrinkler spawning. There's an Elder Ward, which has something to do with Grandma CPS in the in the plants, I believe. And um, that's that's essentially the idea. There's this one, um, I believe it's a Shriek Bulb. It's under plants and further below, I think. That's literally just horrible. Yeah, there you go, the, sh the Shriek Bulb. That's, is, that's really... You're gonna have it in your collection if you want it, but that's that's never gonna have any anything good for you in stock. But uh, the idea is to build a full collection of plants, and this is also why I would recommend that you spend sugar lumps into your garden or your farms rather, because we said that always put it in the most efficient or most effective building rather, like um, chance makers prisms, and uh, go from bottom up. But say you maxed out your chance makers and prisms, start putting it into garden. Because the bigger plot sizes are going to help you a lot. Now let's get into the game again. See if something already happened. It did It did not so far. Uh, we can just buy some upgrades right now. Maybe um, buy some buildings. Pop some pop some wrinklers. And uh, we'll also just wait out and see what, when this happens. And when it does happen, we're going to come back to you and show you. It took us close to an hour. But we've managed uh, to get the thumb corn growing. What is important to note is that... It helps when the stuff's mature. Yeah, absolutely. Because once the stuff's mature, it'll just they'll just start showing up. It'll I believe it does not happen when they aren't at all. That might be the case for different uh, for different plants. That would probably be possible to read up on the uh, wiki. Yeah. Um, it doesn't say anything about maturity yeah. here, but uh, in, some, in some cases some it, it actually does. does. For some yeah. some of it does. Yeah. In this case, maybe it was just coincidence that it that started to happen later. Well, but like it happened almost every tick that stuff showed yeah. up after that. So a few things we want to mention right before it happens because the tick timer is at about a minute. So in a in a bit more than a minute, our uh, thumb corns will the be the first thumb corn that showed up for us will yeah, be mature. Will be mature, and then we can harvest that, and you'll see how that goes. We switched to the green inferno milk. Yes, we did. Uh, and to do that, we uh, 
some like semi legally got the uh, um, fanciful dairy selection in here, but people wanted it to do wanted us to do that, and uh, we're showing off the fancy milks now. Got the cosmic milk coming up, and uh, I think the frostfire milk coming up in the next episodes. Uh, and the uh, like cheating that it, that uh, upgrading doesn't help us in the cooking production, so I guess that's uh, all right to do. But it's hella expensive. Also, we switched to Christmas to just kill some time. We already got two more biscuits, and uh, never bad to have the season upgrades now. 29 or 29 seconds left. You wanted to talk about the sacrifice yeah. garden real quick? so once you've got all of the seeds unlocked, you can sacrifice your garden, which will give you an achievement uh, that will also give you some passive bonuses for the garden. It says on the wiki. And you'll also get 10 showrooms for it. That is correct. It says on the wiki, you can read that up on the uh, list yeah. with tool, tool list, and the thumb corner is going to be mature every second now. Going to see how that looks. It's going to tick, and everything's going to... There you go. So the first thumb corn is now ready to harvest. That's that one when it's mature. It's mature. Important. It has to be mature. Now to harvest. Now we're gonna harvest. We got a lot of other baker's weed and thumb corn showing up, <laughs> but I think we'll just clear the whole thing and then show yeah, the setup for we're the harvest next all. grain. Exactly. So and now we should get a yeah. The thumb corn seed is now has been unlocked. Now the next grain we going back to the wiki. Oh, I. Yeah, just go back to the, to the wiki and um, the next one is would be the corn rice. rice. With the corn rice, weed, mm -hmm. one thumb corn. The patterns are up here. Again, they're basically the same as those, just with a bit of a rotation, except for the last one. And yeah, some of them are different, yeah, but so this one is pretty much the same. So we're rocking a 5 by 5 roster, so... So we're just planting them in the basically the same pattern as we would have before. Yep. I did not switch my seeds yet. And, oh, there it yep. and as you can see... Uh, oh, I don't have enough. Yeah. Don't have enough money? <laughs> I do. All right. Lies. There we go. So, uh, wow, you're pretty poor when you need to um, make pop rankles to buy a seat. No, but we I've, just I've bought been all, all, up the buildings, all yeah. kind of upgrades and all that. So uh, there you go. This is now the next setup. We're not going to wait for all that to happen. No, Specifically, no. because the crone rise is insanely slow. Like, see if you can see it on the uh, on the wiki, but... Just, it was a 1% chance where yeah. uh, thumb corn was yeah. a 5%. Also, also, just it growing. Oh. It's, uh, uh, in, it's one of the... It takes, like... It's one of those that take hours. So Bone rice see takes... That? Yeah, yeah that takes forever. So that that's a really slow one. You can put crow rice down, and it'll sit there for, for hours and hours and hours. So we're not going to put you through that. But this is essentially how you do it. You go through the list, you pick exactly what you want to breed for, what you got, and then what combination you need to use for it, and then go up to the uh, uh, optimum mutation system and set your seeds exactly that way. And you got to be persistent. It's not always going to happen... Uh, the first time we actually replanted the baker's wheat uh, twice before the first thumb corn showed up. Yeah. So also the idea is that if anything shows up that is not the plant that you're trying to breed for, yeah, kill it so yeah, as to yeah. have the space open for when the next next thing happens, so that yeah. the plant that you would want to be yeah. there can actually appear there. If any mutation shows up that you already have, you need to unlock it. Um, drop it out of there immediately and uh, give yourself the optimal chance. That's how you do the gardens, and as long as you're trying to grow crossbreed and uh, get mutations to happen. You always want to stay on that soil, too, because that just um, helps it out a lot. Now, in order to unlock the metal weed, there's a different one. That might be the fertilizer, I believe. Yes, weeds appear more, and uh, that's uh, the weeds appearing more, that's what you want. So, uh, you want to pick a soil where that happens if you're just looking for weeds. And for that to happen, or that one even, like the second to last one, yeah. Ten, oh, that's ten times less, sorry. That's what, <laughs> of course, that's what you want to use when you don't want that. But uh, you do also need the metal weed at some point to crossbreed that into other things and for that you could just have uh just empty spaces everywhere because the weed pops out by itself and then once you have the seed you drop it everywhere and harvest it back back and forth to leave the uh, fungi spores yes but uh, that's that's for that's not for now that's for later the essential guide is always laid out on the wiki that's all you need to know make like i have always i always got like a, a tab stack where i have the uh, cookie clicker in i have the um Ascension guide, if I still need that, and I have the uh, the um, garden spreadsheet, basically the wiki. Yes. So where I can always look up what's the next thing that I need to be crossbreeding. That's always a great recommendation. You also need to, of course, keep a cookie monster in a in a sidebar or have it as a as a bookmark or whatever to install it every time you load the page. And uh, that's probably the best setup to go about the uh, the garden. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any proposition as to uh, milk we we are supposed to use in the future or maybe name for the bakery because to be honest we're running out of those uh, at some point as well 
then uh, let us know. We now have access to the uh, Fanciful Dairy selection, so we still have some that we're going to catch up on. But whenever you have an idea, just drop it in the comments and we're going to uh, keep using that. Any feedback is appreciated. Drop a like on a video if you happen to like. It helps us out a lot. And subscribe to the channel, Trash Can TV in order to be notified about whenever we upload a cookie clicker video and maybe you're interested in some of our other content. We play Hearthstone, we do podcasts, do a lot of talking, so if you just happen to like our voices for God knows whatever reason, then go check those out as well. There's a there's hundreds and hundreds of videos on this channel. That's basically all we do in our lives, so uh, have some fun with that. We're going to see you in the next video. JJ. That's it? That's it.